Next up, we have Mrs. Regina Bearden, Chief Marketing Officer of Memphis Tourism to provide a presentation on the evolution of tourism, a roadmap to our future. Uh, Mrs. Bearden, I am unmuting you now. Thanks, Frank. Good morning, everyone from downtown Memphis. Uh, today, I'm going to cover very quickly uh, an overview of tourism's value. Uh, much of has already been mentioned, so I won't go into a lot of detail. Some current resources and best practices, and some of the things that we've been doing to keep Memphis visible in the marketplace um, to our visitor audiences. And then we'll review a quick roadmap, um, kind of a ready, set, go type of roadmap, uh, waiting to get clearances and to rebuild the industry. Uh, and at the end, I'm happy to provide this presentation to anyone that would like it emailed to them. And uh, of course, take any kind of questions. Uh, just as an opening comment, we are very confident in Memphis and Shelby County's tourism industry and the ability to rebuild. Um, this destination is, a, is very dynamic, both from regional, national, and international visitors. Uh, so we feel very confident as we um, start to set out some goals to rebuild the economy. Uh, the first slide, of course, was just a quick overview of the economic impact of travel and tourism. These reflect 2019 numbers. You see that we've had over 12 million visitors in 2019. January and February of this month, of uh, this year, started off uh, with the same strong growth. And obviously that changed as of March. Uh, where we go from here, we represent all different types of visitor market segments, the sports market, the meetings and convention market, the, tour, the uh, individual tourist, most of that, the consumer market, obviously, and also the group tour market. You'll see those motor coaches around town with 48 passengers on them. Uh, those are typically leisure travelers from around the world. Uh, and that, those markets are represented both domestic and international. Uh, we started, we want to start just looking at the challenges that we've been facing during this process and what we'll face ahead of time. So if we can go to the next slide. I'm not going to read each one of these to you, but as you can see, just providing, we went into a very strong communications mode for our industry, providing as many details about the processes and the information needs that all of our segments of travel and tourism needed. Uh, hotels, restaurants, air service, ground transportation, attractions, and events, uh, just to name a few. Uh, we tried to uh, look at the national and international uh, uh, events that were happening and provide as much information that uh, could help our industry here in Memphis and Shelby County. Um, we, in the next challenges pages, obviously looking at uh, everything from budgets and resources, trying to help and provide information to our frontline staffs, uh, hotel workers, restaurant workers, uh, the, the many musicians that support the travel and tourism industry and make that experience a special one for uh, the visitors that come here from all over the world. And then uh, we're in the phase now of ready, set, go. And uh, what, watching uh, all of the guidelines and rules and regulations that are coming out uh, so that we can prepare to rebuild uh, our markets. Uh, if we could go to the next slide, please. We'll start with uh, local and regional, uh, typically a 300 mile radius around Memphis. Uh, we'll start with that. Uh, it's going to be a very, very strong drive market in the beginning as we rebuild um, and consumer confidence uh, is going to play a role in when we expand that to a 600 mile uh, radius uh, and drive market. We could go to the next uh, evolution roadmap uh, slide. This just gives you an idea of the different phases that we're going through. Right now we're uh, beginning to come out of the wait phase. Uh, then we'll go to ready, set and go. And you'll see each of the categories that we're watching. Um, everything from the timing to changing the messaging, uh, 
any initiatives uh, that we will initiate, which will be, um, will indicate from the social media indicators. Uh, the next slide gives you an idea of the dashboard that we're watching. We can tell from social media conversations when the uh, travel dis, uh, part of the conversation is coming up and what that looks like. We have seen some changes in the last seven days with some optimistic uh, conversations around travel and people starting to dream about when they'll take their ne next vacation and when they'll begin to travel again. So as I said, we're watching that daily and weekly and that is how we're making our decisions. We are very much a data-driven uh, decision organization. We look at it carefully uh, every day and then we design our narrative and our marketing and advertising and sales programs with all of those things in mind. It looks like that June and July uh, people are starting to, to make definite plans. We're seeing that in website traffic. We're seeing that in the social media conversations. So we're anticipating uh, that time frame to begin for it to come back. We know it's going to be a slow, steady climb in the comeback. Um, we're very encouraged that the WGC golf tournament is still going to happen at the um, in, in part of July. Uh, we believe that uh, PGA is still anticipating to invite fans there. We know that's going to look a bit, little bit different, but that'll be one of, one of our biggest events that starts to really rebuild the confidence level. Something that I think is going to be, that's always important, but even more important as we rebuild is, is influencers uh, and really utilizing those trusted people in our community and in the visitor community that shows it is safe to travel. We are very proud and very confident of our restaurant ownership teams and management teams, and that's true in hotels and others, to, to really establish that Memphis is going, Memphis and Shelby County is going to be a great place to visit here. It's gonna be safe, you're gonna be welcome, and you're going to um, you know, enjoy yourself while you're here. So the next slide is just a quick illustration of how important the year of the road trip is going to be. Um, this is uh, going to be, especially in the next um, eight to 12 months, it'll be the direction that we go. We know that those national and international markets will come back, but it is going to take longer in those markets. Uh, we are, as you, most of you know, we are within a day's drive of two thirds of the, of the United States. So that's, we're in a really good position. Uh, and we here at Memphis Tourism are forever reminded and very proud of how important Memphis's economy is around tourism. But the world really does want to come to Memphis and they love coming here. And with more than 50 tourist attractions, uh, unique, one-of-a-kind things to offer. We're in a really, really great position to come back strong. Content is always king. That's my next slide. We, um, we are really good at this, connecting with our community, with our consumers, providing the most up-to-date content, and giving people all the information that they need to make a decision to come to Memphis. The next slide shows you kind of the, uh, the steps that we go through as we look at how we market. You'll see what we call the PESO model, paid, earned, shared, and owned media. And this is how we distribute our marketing dollars through all of these uh, channels. So PESO really guides us through every step of every marketing program that we, we implement. So we'll continue with that. The next slide shows you just some of our owned assets. Uh, most of you are familiar with our I Love Memphis blog and Holly Whitfield, our blogger, does an amazing job there. And this is how we have provided a lot of our resources information to our industry, as well as on memphistravel.com. We've been very, very active uh, in keeping Memphis in front of uh, visitors as they've been at home dreaming and watching YouTube and catching up on all sorts of things uh, because they've had more time on their hands than usual. And this is just a nice quote that I really want to tip my hat to our PR team for uh, 
a lot of destinations have been doing the exact same thing that we're doing. It's going to be a very competitive marketplace. But this quote kind of shows you that we took an approach that maintained our brand, that gave people kind of this uplifting spirit and soul, um, and, and kept people hopefully dreaming of planning a vacation to Memphis and entertaining them a little bit along the way. We did uh, several things to try to help our frontline industry, our musicians and our uh, restaurant workers and those folks that had been laid off or furloughed. And this is just one example of what we did, kind of a DJ series partnering with uh, the Central Station Hotel uh, for a virtual dance party. We also did um, a series that included uh, some live performances from some of our musicians here in town, which raised over $30,000 for musicians that were uh, obviously out of work. Um, and then the Community Foundation and the uh, Arts Memphis Association have been a very big part of all of this and helping us distribute the money and coordinate and uh, raise additional funds. So we couldn't have done that with, um, with our generous partners. We all know how generous Memphians are and that has, uh, you know, shown every day in this process as we work together. These are just a few other items that we've done. You may have seen some billboards. We wanted to make sure that we uh, thanked our medical community and those uh, people on the front lines uh, that have put their lives in some cases in jeopardy and been taking care of those of us that needed assistance with medical care. Uh, so this, these are just some of the contents that we've been doing for, so far. And I thought we could play this just really quick video that we've been distributing around the world in our audiences. You may have seen it locally as well, uh, just to show you uh, how we've kept that brand of Memphis out in our community. It's just a real short video. In Memphis, we're putting your safety and the safety of our fans right here at home first. These are unprecedented times for all of us but we've been weathering the blues for more than 200 years. We're all in this together, so let's stay together because we're an American original and our city is your city. For now, may our sounds comfort you. When you're ready to rock again, we'll be ready to roll. Hope you enjoyed that. I see a couple of smiles, thank you for that. Um, then just, uh, Keys to the new normal, uh, creating consumer confidence and rebuilding um, in, the, in that new normal is something we're, we're focused on every single day today uh, as we go forward. I'm not gonna touch on too much of this. Ernie's already done an amazing job as leader of the Restaurant Association for Memphis and Shelby County, but we do have best practices posted for restaurants. The next slide uh, just gives you an overview of some of Governor Lee's um, outlines, we uh, will be updating this. Uh, I think we already have actually with what came out yesterday from Mayor Harris and Mayor Strickland. And we'll change that as that goes forward. Um, so on the hotel section, as you know, uh, all of our hotels with the exception of two are still open and operating and have been in a very safe atmosphere. Uh, the numbers look like about 27 to 30% occupancy, most of that in our limited service economy type hotels. Uh, our downtown hotels have been hit really hard, as you can imagine. Um, one uh, kind of positive in this is, as you know, the convention center is undergoing a $200 million improvement plan, and it, um, it has given we, it has never con stopped construction. It's moving along. We went uh, on a tour of it yesterday. I think it's something that Memphians are going to be very, very proud of. Um, it is also a size that I think in the new normal is going to offer us uh, possibly some opportunities. It is more of a boutique size building. Um, what we are seeing as far as trends in the industry is that from meeting planners and event planners, they are looking for small destinations with the smaller spaces. 
Um, they're also looking at uh, letting some time go by before returning to those hotspot cities like New York and Las Vegas and some of those others. So it, it, it says to us that this could possibly be a, a good opportunity for us. So we'll be retargeting our sales and marketing efforts um, in the Southeast for the immediate future. The convention center is still scheduled to open. Um, by the end of this year, we're, we're thinking October still, that was the original date. Um, so the hotels, uh, as I said, was, uh, we only, the only Hugh, Hugh hotels only when it closed and the Doubletree downtown. Doubletree was already closing to rebrand and renovate, so they just closed a little bit earlier. They will reopen, as we're sure that the Hugh will as well, but um, other hotels are operating. Obviously, food service in those properties have changed dramatically, just like it has changed for our restaurant community. On the next slide for meetings and uh, events and venues, um, this is probably going to be the most one of the most challenging areas is uh, air service meetings and events. Uh, I think everybody is already planning very effectively on how they will keep the facilities clean and safe, how they will take care of people that may be sick that enters uh, the building. For instance, the convention center is already looking at um, social distancing, thermal scanning, um, and the way that they can sanitize and also protect people if someone is in the building and becomes sick and how they isolate them and take care of them until they can be moved to a medical facility uh, for testing. So all of those things are being discussed. Um, Dean Dennis over at our convention center that manages, he said, we're looking at a lot of gadgets and a lot of trinkets and every best practice we possibly can. So I think when we're ready to open there, uh, along with all of our hotel partners, we will be one of those cities that we can say, you can come here, your delegates can uh, feel comfortable and safe and um, hopefully have a good time too. We know that can happen. Um, on the attraction side, uh, we, are, we have an advisory group that we formed with many of our partners, including attractions, um, Graceland, um, the Pink Palace, the zoo, all of the, all of the attractions that we could list are all uh, developing plans. Uh, as you know, if you've ever been on a Graceland tour, you have to board um, a shuttle bus to go to the mansion. But the attractions on the opposite side have very expansive spaces. So they are make, putting things in place to accommodate and make everyone safe. So is the zoo, the Pink Palace. Some of the, the smaller ones like Sun Studio are gonna be more challenging because there's fewer people. Um, fewer, it's a small space and fewer people will probably be able to enter that. So we'll be um, taking all of that information from all of those segments and building an appropriate narrative as we market in all of our market segments. On the transportation side, We've, um, we know that, this, that the road trip is gonna be really important. People driving their own vehicles is gonna uh, make them more comfortable. Um, like I said, we have such an incredible population around us, many of them very familiar with coming to Memphis. And so they're always a repeat visitation factor. We, we are also a great feeder market for Chicago and Dallas. Those are also good drivable markets. So we will be reaching out once those um, guidelines are loosened and people can are more open, we'll be reaching out to that 600 mile. And then we'll take a um, really cautious approach watching the data as we move back into our national and international markets. We know that the international market is going to take some, probably two years to, to recover, maybe longer. Um, air service is going to be challenged uh, just a lot of the, I think it's 80% of the aircraft or many of them either redirected or grounded from the airlines. So that's going to be a very difficult uh, process coming back, but we will, we enjoy incredible amounts of visitors from those national and international markets. So as soon as um, that comes back, I believe Memphis will recover very 
very well, just um, staying competitive all along the way. That's the end of my presentation. I'm happy to answer any questions.